Hello all my beautiful crafters. I want to do a quick video and show you my Echo Park haul. I ordered this a couple weeks ago when I was at the Scrapbook Expo. They had another warehouse sale. It just came today so it's fresh out of the box so I wanted to show you what I got. Of course I'm going to start off with some Christmas uh, paper kits. So these paper kits, just so you know, they come with all the papers in here. They're uh, always double-sided with Echo Park. You get all of these tags. So this will be a full page. This will be a full page and you'll cut those apart and you'll get different tags and things in here. Um, usually on a page like this. Uh, so you'll get stickers or tags and you either cut them apart or pull them off of the sticker sheet. It just depends on what that album comes with. So you'll see some of them won't have um, all of these set up like this and some of them will so this paper pack is Christmas I will probably do a journal with that uh, a mini album uh, the the sorry the uh, dog one is very fitting right now bear is running around with his bone so you might hear him in the background and he tends to drop it when he's running I love anything that's homegrown with mason jars and farm trucks and things so that was a given that I needed it I am really getting in the Christmas spirit now. I don't decorate until after Thanksgiving, but I'm really itching this year to do it. I love these. I, I think these are bunt cakes. I just got a Stampin' Up! stamp set too. It just came last night, and it has one of those on it, and I just think it's the, the cutest thing. So I had to have that. Uh, wouldn't this be a cute little birthday album for somebody if you go to their birthday party and you take some pictures, make a little album, and then give it to them? Winter is uh, amongst most of you, but not us here in Florida. It's gorgeous out. I have this paper and I did a journal with it. I can show you that if you're interested, but I needed a couple more pieces of paper. I threw in some other from my stash, but I, I really wanted to get some more of this paper. I wish that they would add two more sheets of paper to each of these packs because I feel like it's just short for the size albums that I do, like two more pieces of paper and it would be great. Um, this was a fun one for camping or outdoors. I will probably do it more outdoors type versus camping because when we camp, it is at the Hilton Garden Inn. It is not in a tent out in the woods because uh, we just don't roll like that. We're, um, we're not very adventurous. So when it comes to uh, people having babies, there is a baby boom going on. I'm sure you guys have heard about that too. I'm sure you know a lot of people that are having babies. So I will make a baby album probably for a baby's first year and put things in there like baby's first step and you know, first foods and things like that. I have those for my boys and I, I always thought they were really cute to do. I'm still loving autumn. I will always love autumn. I will buy autumn things all year round just because it is my favorite season. I thought this would be really cute for a wedding album and that's why I got two of some of these because I planned on making bigger albums with them. So this would be a really pretty wedding album with all of those flowers. Um, I just absolutely love fall and I... I <laughs> I didn't know if I like these or not. So tell me down in the comments, do you like these blue tealish, whatever color we want to call them, pumpkins? It's newer, you know, the past couple years, probably the last two years. It's really uh, being seen in stores and things now. And I didn't know if I liked it before, but I think it's growing on me. I love the 4th of July. It's one of my favorite. It's probably after Halloween, my favorite holiday to decorate for. So uh, I don't have any um, uh, 4th of July albums, so that's going to be a fun one to make. This would just be for a little boy that I don't know. I don't know any little boys that like dinosaurs right now, but I'm sure one day I will. And then this lumberjack one, which is always cute, absolutely always cute. I got a couple little frame sets, so if I need a little bit more embellishments, they match with two of the the kits that I got and then I got a couple six by six paper pads just to add a little bit more to my pages if I need them with those packs um, and this entire order cost me $113 that included shipping like I said I just got it today it did take a little while this is the longest that I've ever had to wait for my order um, I did see an email come across about an hour ago from Echo Park that they're having another big sale I think it was on digital prints though definitely sign up for their emails if you're interested because for all of these these ended up all these paper packs ended up being five dollars a piece and you cannot beat that and this thing is heavy so it's heavy it costs a lot to ship um 
paper so when you can get free shipping with it that's a no-brainer so check them out thanks so much for watching bye